Commercial power is delivered to this facility through three separate feeds. This power configuration is conditioned by power distribution units and multiple kinetic flywheel uninterruptible power supply units. These units provide a truly redundant A and B feed to the raised floor. In the unlikely circumstance that commercial power to the site is temporarily disabled, these systems are supplemented by two Caterpillar generators, producing 4 megawatts of power with 6,000 gallons of backup fuel on site, which can power the center for as long as needed. All power sources transfer through redundant electrical switch gear, a system that manages a smooth transition of power between supplies as needed. Both the A and B power feeds are constantly fed into uninterrupted power supply systems that can power the entire data center as power is being transferred from commercial power to generator. These layers of redundancy are how we ensure that power to the customer equipment is never absent, regardless of any emergency or unexpected power failure outside the facility. The inside of the data center is intricately engineered to provide an optimal operating temperature at all times. 12,000 square feet of the total 38,000 square feet facility are engineered with standard density raised floor space, and an additional 4,000 square feet are engineered with high density raised floor space. This system circulates cool temperature controlled air into server rooms through floor level ventilation systems. 28 redundant high capacity computer room air conditioner units with 840 tons of cooling positioned throughout the facility pump chilled air into the data room and keep hardware at optimum operating temperatures of 68 to 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Server cabinets are positioned in parallel rows, back to back, creating a hot aisle, cold aisle configuration that efficiently keeps hot air circulating out of the cabinets and cool air circulating in. Cold air molecules are pushed from the computer room air conditioner unit under the floor, creating a high pressure system that forces the chilled air up through air vents in the cold aisles. That chilled air is pulled in through the front of the server cabinets and then fanned back out as hot air in a hot aisle. The hot air rises to the ceiling and then enters the crack units for the cooling process to start again. The result is an environment that is always the perfect temperature to keep customer equipment safe from humidity and overheating. Fiber optic connectivity is delivered to the building through diverse routing from two diverse fiber optic conduits into the data center's hub for connectivity, the POP room. From there it is fed into the Meet Me room and then distributed for use. This mesh configuration eliminates single points of failure and provides uninterrupted data flow across the network at all times. The facility is protected from fire by a state-of-the-art Very Early Smoke Detection Apparatus or VESDA fire suppression and thermal detector system, while a dry pipe pre-action sprinkler system completes the picture of a worry-free data center environment. An integrated physical security platform maintains the security of the data center's single point of entry. Employees and customers are given access to the building only through key card and biometric hand scanner verification. Visitors enter the facility and are then visually identified by a video call box before being granted access and greeted by security. All visitors must be signed in and be escorted in and out of the data center. Biometric hand scanning is used along with a key card system to gain access to the facility's common areas. Each data room is protected by keycard access for customers and staff. Support areas are exclusively given only to members of our staff. Inside the data rooms, which are monitored by 96 security cameras, every individual server cabinet and caged area is key locked. Customers are granted access to the data rooms via the keycard system without escort 24 hours a day, 365 days of the year. All security data is fed into the building's operations support center. From there, the internal engineering group, assisted by the operations support center technicians, monitor the network 24-7, 365 days of the year. Live feeds are received on all hardware, software, network activity, plus integral infrastructure data from HVAC to fire suppression. For more information about our facility and about the value it offers you and your organization, 
please contact us today.